Hey folk, welcome back to the rock shop. In today's video, I am going to show you how I go about setting the pickup height on the guitar. It's really easy uh, and it will help you get the most out of uh, the sound of your pickups. If the pickups are too close to the strings, you're going to get all sorts of funny harmonics and buzzes and you're going to decrease your sustain quite considerably, especially on strap pickups. And if your pickup is too close, uh, too far away, sorry, from your strings, then you are going to just lose a lot of the sound of the pickup and everything's going to sound a little bit thin and anemic. Um, so using these techniques and these measurements, which are purely, I'm going to stress this and say that they are just starting points. These measurements are ones I found are quite good and work for most guitars. They work for about 90 to 95% of guitars and guitarists. However, everyone does have a preference. Some people prefer them a bit closer. Some people do like them really far away. Uh, I do prefer my pickups a bit lower uh, because of the way I pick. But everybody's different. If you take these measurements, try them out, and then you can tweak from there. So without any further ado, I'm going to put a strat on that bench there, and we are going to go for it. So now that the strat's on the bench, that's kind of really step one. Uh, I want to show you what I use to measure the pickup height. Now there are a few things you can use, some of them are a little easier than others. The first one being a 6 inch machinist rule or 6 inch metal ruler. Um, it's all 6 inches, 15 centimeters. You get these everywhere. Um, hardware stores, DIY stores, little big box ones, small ones, everywhere. Um, they're great. I use these things all the time for lots of stuff. Um, I find it can kind of rock on the pickup a little bit, so I tend not to use it for pickup and action height. You get these guys. Now this is a Stuart McDonald string action gauge. Loads of people make them. You can get them off of eBay really cheaply. The Dario make one which is really good. Uh, and Music Nomad. Uh, have just come out with a new one that's black with white writing on it which looks really good I'm going to get my hands on one of them uh, and see how it performs but all that said what I use is this little thing here now this is just two pieces of brass hobby rod off of eBay which I will try if I can find it I'll leave a link in the description down below as to as to what it is uh, Stuart McDonald, the same people that make this guy here, they do make uh, a version of something similar to this with a few different sizes. Uh, I just use, the, I just have two pieces with the sizes that I use. Now, what are these sizes? What heights do you want your pickups to be? On most pickups, uh, I will go for two thirty seconds of an inch. On the base side, that's 2.4 millimeters. On the base side, and I will go for 1 16th of an inch, which is about 1.6 millimeters on the treble side. Now, again, like I said previously, these numbers are very variable. You know, it's, it's whatever works for you. Now that we, we know what we're going to use to measure it, how do we measure it? Where do we take the measurements? For that, you're going to put the guitar on its side and you're going to push down on the very last fret on, in this case, the low E string, the thickest string. You're going to push down on the last fret. And then you're going to take either your ruler, your string action gauge, or your, your little um, brass feeler gauge, essentially, and you're going to slide it underneath the string on top of the pole piece of the pickup and as you can see I don't know if you can on this because it's kind of small but we're really far away really far away really far away so what we're going to do is you're going to take a screwdriver that fits the specific screws on your pickup and Seymour Duncan tend to ship with slotted head screwdrivers or slotted head screws sorry so slotted head screwdriver will work for that these are Phillips so I'm going to use a Phillips and we want to just raise these up. Like that. 
put it back on its side, push down the last fret again, and check it. It should slide underneath, that one doesn't, it's a little bit too high, that one's a little high, and that one's perfect. So, we need to lower these two a tiny little bit. Oop, just like that, push down the last fret, slide it in, yep, that one can come down a bit more. That's perfect. So that's the base side of these pickups done. Same thing on the treble side, only I flip the guitar this way. Push down on the last fret and slide your little action gauge. Again, either the ruler, the action gauge, or your little your little tool. These are all really, really far away. So we're going to Do that. Again, typically you do want your treble side to be a little closer than your bass side because there's less string there. Middle pickup's okay. The bridge pickup can come down a little bit. And the neck pickup can come down a little bit. That side. Always remember to keep your finger on the last fret. That's perfect. And that's perfect. And that's it. The pickup height is set. It's as easy as that. So next, you'll just plug it in, check it, see how it sounds, see how you know how close all the the, the sounds are, and tweak it from there. It's really really easy, um, and you'd be surprised. The amount of pickups and the amount of guitars that come into my workshop with pickups that are all over the place and not sounding brilliant. And something as easy as this can take your guitar from sounding kind of okay to sounding brilliant. So any questions, um, leave them in the comments down below. If you have any other ways of doing this, any other little tricks, again, leave them in the comments below. Thanks guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, hopefully I will see you again in the next one.